gravitational potential energy. Let us consider a body of mass m is placed at a height r above the surface of the earth of mass m and radius r respectively. Let the body is moving from distance r to infinity distance from the earth. Now let's first use this information to draw a picture. So this is my diagram where you can see this is the earth with mass m and radius r. I'm considering a point mass m at a distance r from the center of the earth. So basically this mass is r distance from the center of the earth. What we are going to do, we are going to move this mass m from r distance from the center of earth to the infinity. And if we do that, we will have a gravitational potential energy involved in the process, which is in the form of work done. So let's first find the force of attraction between earth and the mass m. And if we do that, we will write the gravitational force acting on the body is given as F is equal to G M M over R squared. And this is the gravitational force between the earth and the mass M. Now the work done by the body is given as W is equal to integration from R to infinity F dr because basically we are moving the body from R distance from the center of earth to infinity distance from the center of earth. So this will be the total work done by the body. Let's substitute the value of force which is equal to gmm over r square over here and if we do that we will get w is equal to integration from r to infinity gmm over r square times dr. Now as we can see everything is constant except dr and r square. So I'm going to take all my constant outside and if I do that I will write w is equal to g m m integration from r to infinity dr over r square. Now let's simplify further and if we do that we will get the integral of dr over r square as negative 1 over r. So we will write w is equal to g m m inside the bracket negative 1 over r lower limit is r and the upper limit is infinity. Now let's substitute the values and if we do that we will get w is equal to negative g m m inside the bracket 1 over infinity minus 1 over r and we got this negative from here because we are basically taking that negative outside the bracket. If we simplify further we will write 1 over infinity as 0 so we will get only like negative 1 over r and the negative times negative is positive so our work will be w is equal to g m m over r. Now we can write the gravitational potential energy is given as u infinity minus u r is equal to w. Now we know that the gravitational potential energy at infinity will be 0 so we will write u infinity is equal to 0 and let u is the potential energy at a distance r from the center of earth. So let's substitute those values over here and if we do that we will write 0 minus u is equal to g m m over r. Now let's simplify further and if we do that we will write u is equal to minus g m m over r. And this is the gravitational potential of a body if the body is moving from a distance r from the center of earth to a distance infinity from the center of earth. And this is how we will define the gravitational potential energy.